Greetings disciples, today we're taking a break from breaking the game and talking about something those of you who are playing the game legitimately are certain to encounter during regular play. That is, leveling your iconic, also known as unique weapons, as you progress, which is essential to making sure your damage stays consistently high throughout, while still giving you the freedom to use the weapon you want to. If you enjoy this guide, be sure to try the others in the description for this video, or check out my channel and, uh, you know, maybe even, I don't know, uh, subscribe? Anyway, on the docket for today, we are first going to look at the costs associated with leveling weapons normally, and what exactly that means in terms of how much you'll have to do or pay to acquire the components to do so. Then we're going to talk about the actual mechanics of leveling your iconic weapons, followed by the golden method I've worked out for you guys to do so efficiently. Lastly, we'll do a cost comparison so you know exactly how much of a difference this method makes. As always, if you don't care to learn about the game science and details of how it all works, you can skip ahead using the links in the description. Or on the progress bar, because I figured out how to do that. Moving on, let's say you watched an ill-informed video that tells you the best unique weapon in the game can be picked up at level 5. You did so, and it was useful for all of 10 levels before it quickly got phased out by everything else you started picking up. What do you do? And the tempting answer is to go into your crafting menu, hit the upgrade button, and crank an item up as high as it'll go. However, the return you're getting for doing this compared to the rapidly increasing cost is absolutely going to hit a ceiling for those playing the game normally, and even those using certain exploits. Just to show you guys how expensive this can get, I'm showing you on screen the component cost to level a weapon 10, 20, 30, or 45 levels. And these costs are the same for every type and starting level of weapon, of course keeping in mind that you only have to pay the component price for the tier the weapon currently is and all below it. Now let's take a step further and look at what it would cost you in eddies to purchase all these materials. The answer, an insane amount up to 7.8 million to level a legendary weapon 45 times. That's with the perks for both reducing costs by 20% and granting free upgrades 10% of the time. It doesn't take a genius to see that this is not ideal, especially when you can have up to three weapons to consider. So, what is the alternative? Before we get too far into that, you need to understand the mechanics behind leveling iconic weapons. These things can be really tempting to run and grab at the first opportunity, but I'd really suggest not picking up iconic weapons or legendary weapons and armor that spawn in the world at the very start of the game, since they will then be leveled to your current level, though cyberware is okay as it doesn't have a level. I'll also add a disclaimer that if you simply want to level weapons for collector's sake, all you need to do is wait until you are level 50 and then upgrade whatever weapon it is you're collecting up to its maximum quality of gold by going into your crafting menu, finding it, and then consuming the previous version to make a better one. That's because by waiting until level 50 to upgrade them, it ensures that when you do upgrade them, all of their stats become whatever they would be at your current level, so that means they're maxed out. However, remember that if you're trying to get the best stats for your weapon, almost all of them you're going to want crit chance, crit damage, and the headshot multiplier. However, this guide is mainly for weapons that you intend to use throughout a majority of the game. For those, I suggest waiting until certain levels, depending on their rarity, to pick them up. Not only will it be easier to acquire quest-related weapons, but you'll also not need to stop using that weapon at any point because you can't afford to make it more powerful. This is because I have a very simple method you can follow throughout the game to enhance these weapons as efficiently as possible. So we're going to take advantage of the fact that when you upgrade the quality of a weapon like I just showed you, you will bring that weapon up to your level. Keep in mind that you will need the True Craftsman, Grease Monkey, and Edge Runner Artisan perks to be able to craft blue, purple, and gold weapons respectively. Now this requires, I think it's 4, 12, and 18 points into your technical ability. Which means that this particular aspect of leveling up your weapons is going to be locked off for any non-crafting builds. And it's even more important that you wait until the end game to pick up some of the best iconic weapons. Now if you are going the crafting route, remember you can only enhance your weapons to gold quality. 
And this means that uncommon items can only be enhanced three times, once to blue and then purple and then gold. Blue or rare quality items can only be enhanced twice to purple and then gold. And purple likewise can only be enhanced once. We'll keep this in mind for the next part of the video. And it's also worth noting that when you do upgrade a weapon to the next rarity level, all of its crafting costs are reset to whatever they were at square one. Now this is very useful and smart planning of what level to upgrade your weapons to the next rarity is the basis of our efficiency for this method. And that method is what we're getting to right now. So with all of the mechanics in mind, the method I suggest using to level your Iconics is a hybrid between normal leveling to keep the weapon useful as you go, and then upgrading its quality at certain intervals to ensure that you're making efficient use of your components. So what exactly does this system look like? This. Using a bunch of math and brain stuff, this is what I've worked out to be the most efficient process for leveling your Iconic weapons. It seems like a lot to drink in, but it's actually fairly simple. Depending on the tier of weapon you're looking at, I have a level that I suggest you wait to pick it up. This is so that you can avoid the exorbitant costs of having to either level that weapon a bunch, or the even more exorbitant costs of leveling that item's rarity early, and then having to pay crazy money to get the legendary components to level it late game. Then at the core of this system, there's somewhat of a ratio for how many times you want to upgrade at each tier, and then how many levels you should leave between upgrades without leveling it before you up it to the next tier, thus resetting the cost of upgrading components and making it whatever level you currently are. This ensures that the weapon is never more than a few levels below you and thus maintains its effectiveness from the moment you pick it up without breaking the bank. If you've managed to get your hands on a weapon earlier than the level I suggest, just increase the number of times you level at each tier by one until you get down to the level you're at. But be warned, especially epic starting quality weapons get very, very expensive if you acquire them early. Now I have shared this spreadsheet on Google with tabs also for all of the costs of everything, so you can use that for quick reference until hopefully we actually get to see visually what level items are, and if this does happen in a future update, I can almost guarantee you that it's going to be just to the right of my cursor at the very edge, well, underneath where it says Legendary slash Iconic, because if you go to a Ripper dock, you'll notice that exclusively on Cyberdex, there actually is a level right there. So, um... Hopefully that's something they'll add in the future. Now we're going to move on to the cost comparison. So just how much more effective is this method compared to just guessing as you go? As it turns out, a lot. We're talking hundreds of thousands of eddies worth of components less than you'd be spending over the course of leveling the weapons normally. This side by side is proof of that. It costs you about the same to add 10 levels to an epic weapon as it does to progress 2, 3, and 4 times that many levels with this method. If you're like me and you pick up everything to disassemble later, you might even be able to keep up the levels on all 3 weapon slots without purchasing many or any components at all, meaning the effective cost of leveling is all but eliminated, leaving you with even more money to waste on fast cars and spiffy clothes. Now that about sums it up and I'm doing my best to try to make some slightly shorter videos you guys will actually click on. However, if you'd like to see even more concise, in-depth guides for Cyberpunk and other games, please subscribe and enable your notifications as I make one to two videos a week. And if this video helps you, don't forget to like it on your way out, and I'll see you in the next one.